the open standards allow us to be able to engage with customers that we haven't dealt with before, with technology stacks that quite frankly are innovative for how they're solving their business problems. The objective here is to quickly deliver these services and solutions to customers. If we're delivering services to an organization, internal or external, without those open standards, it makes it very difficult for us to elegantly compete efficiently across customers. You have to have open standards that everyone is going to be able to adopt. You need to have open source software that people can build on, can plug into, but not, not that any one company is, is going to own. It's a national resource. You need to have hybrid clouds that work across multiple institutions. I have some experience with that as well. A retailer came to us. Basically, there's a Twitter feed or a Facebook page that has a celebrity who bought something, something new. And all of a sudden, they have, they have explosive uh, growth in hit, hits on the website and, and being able to fulfill orders. So they need, they need instant scalability through use of automation, using um, tools like uh, Chef and Puppet to build out into uh, a vCloud director node, such as one of ours, to automatically scale out and then contract as needed. So that kind of solved that type of problem. I think the piece of open standards, though, that companies like IBM solve for are security, which is a notoriously underserved area in the open standards world, right? That whole challenge of security is really important because you have things like data privacy laws in the European Union, HIPAA, all those sorts of challenges with your data that you didn't have to worry about before. I think uh, as far as genomics go, there's actually a, a further twist to the to the tail and that is um, you know genomic data is inherently insecure even if it's HIPAA compliant uh, so there was uh, some papers recently uh, just taking the genomic data from that they can infer uh, the facial features of the person that was sequenced so that that's a whole new <laughs> dimension of, of, <laughs> of security that needs to be figured out because I don't think uh, it's, it's, it's not clear exactly how to solve that issue.